Hello, Zyphus Fish community, and welcome back to another World Tanks concert video. So, in this video, I want to talk about something. And this something is, I want to say that there is, people ask, people ask me all the time, what's the best tank? What's the worst tank in the game? Is this tank worth it? Is this tank not worth it? What's the best skills and equipment in the game? And the truth is, there is no best skill. There is no worst skill in the game. There's no best tank, and there's no worst tank in the game. There's no worst map, and there's no best map in the game. Overall. But, we are allowed to have different opinions about this kind of stuff. Something like... For example... Also, there's... Like, for example, there is no... Like, for the IS-4. The IS-4, the IS-4 works for me. I love the IS-4, always had. And when I was grinding the IS-4 line when it first, when I first came to console, um, this is before it had the armor buff and the ammo buff and the reload buff and all this stuff. And this is when the IS-4 was considered the worst tier 10 Soviet heavy tank. And I was grinding through the IS-4 line because I wanted to grind through the IS-4 line. I loved all the KVs on Blitz. And so, yeah, and I was grinding through the line. And I remember getting to the ST-1 and I got told time after time after time, stick with the ST-1. The ST-1 is way better than the IS-4. Don't get the IS-4 because the IS-4 is crap. I remember not... I was like, you know what, I'm just going to finish the line and see how I like the IS-4. And I absolutely love the IS-4. The IS-4 is my favorite tank. It is the most, the tank I have the most battles in. It is not for everybody, but it is absolutely for me. I'm saying this because every single tank, like every single tank in this game is good for for somebody and that same tank could be terrible for somebody else like the Valor I absolutely despise the Valor and I really really hate it and I think it's a terrible tank and the Ajit 252U Defender I even made an entire video of the Ajit 252U Defender when everybody was calling it overpowered I'm like this tank's crap you know why because I hate it I hate the playstyle of it and I just can't do good in it People say it was overpowered, but no. You ask me, not worth it. But you ask anybody else, it's worth it. That's why I never like in my videos like, be like, hey, this tank is worth it. This tank's not worth it. That's not up for me to decide. That's up for you to decide. That's why I always try to list what's good about the tank, what's terrible about the tank, and stuff like that. Because I don't want to tell you. A tank is terrible and you never grind to that tank and never get that tank. I want to list out what's good, what's bad, how the playstyle is and stuff like that. Is if I actually listened to the people saying not to get the IS-4, I would have listened. If I listened, I would have never played the IS-4. The IS-4 would have never been my favorite tank. I would have never experienced the love I have for the IS-4. and I love the IS-4 and and I've made so many videos about the IS-4 but if I listen to people being like tank sucks and tanks not worth it just stay at the tier 9 no I didn't listen to them and I just grind it out because I want to play the tank for myself and I should do it so that's why I don't do like is this tank worth it or not worth it I just list out reasons how the tank plays and stuff like that the Type 63 some people may have the brand new Type 63 Japanese heavy tank. Some people may absolutely love that tank. It's a hold down monster. If you can get it hold down, it has really good hold down capabilities. It has great accuracy. It's got great DPM. It's got decently good mobility. But I really hate it. I cannot stand that tank. I've tried to get good videos in it. And I'm definitely going to have a video on it. But... I cannot have a good game in that tank to save my life. But I've seen multiple people do.
doing because that tank may fit their playstyle. They may absolutely love that tank. If you listen to me, I'll say it's not worth it. But I don't want to say that because it may not be worth it for me. It may be worth it for somebody else. Also, the skills and equipment. There's some people, and consumables, there's some people in this game that run the same amount of skills on every single commander in the entire game. Or they'll have like five or six commanders where they just switch them out in all the tanks. They have. I don't do that. If you ever watch me stream or I ever talk about skills or equipment in the game, also, this was pointed out last stream I did, that I don't run six cents. Six cents, well, I do run six cents, but some of the tanks in Cold War, I don't run run six cents, or I don't find it as valuable as I would other skills for that tank. It depends on tank per tank basis. I don't have a select crew. I don't have like five or six skill, five or six nine skill crews for all my tanks. I have, my goal is to put a different crew in every single tank I own, which is almost a thousand tanks. I think it's over a thousand tanks and have them individually loaded out for each tank. But even still, I would change the skills to try a different playstyle. And I'm always changing my skills and equipment to see what I like better of the tank. And yeah, Six Cents used to be one of the skills I always put on my tanks. One of the first ones. But Six Cents has slowly been one of the ones I put on my last, one of the last skills I put on. Because I'm like, oh, this tank, this tank with this skill works way better than Six Cents. Or stuff like that. But yeah. Um, best map, favorite maps. There is no worse map in the game. That's all a matter of opinion, just like the tanks. Every tank is, is special in its own way. Same for every map. Somebody may love a certain map or hate, and another person may hate it. Like the, um, let's go back to a tank, a PT-76. I know a lot of people absolutely despise that tank, but I do know some people love the tank and can't understand why we hate the PT-76. There's people out there like that, and the, if you ask a, if you ask that person that loves the PD-76, is it worth it? They would say yes. You ask me, I would say no. See where I'm getting at? The question is not, is it worth it? The question what you should be, not, the question that you shouldn't be asking, is it worth it? Ask how it plays for tanks be like hey how does that tank play if it gets described in a way you like then try it try the tank so yeah don't just be like oh this tank just don't watch a video just be like oh is it worth it and stuff like that just be like hey is this a playstyle i like of this tank or not and yeah there's always change things up always if there's one thing i would give advice on this game is always try different stuff try to be inventive always change things up if something's not working for a tank change it up or if your playstyle is not working change a different playstyle be unique be different there's so many things in this game we don't all have to play hold down tanks or have the best DPM or the best accuracy. No. You can play different ways in this game. You, A lot of, I'm going to say quote unquote, good players say best DPM and best aim time is the way, I mean, best DPM and best accuracy is the best way to go. And I'm like, for some tanks, yes, but for other tanks, no. Absolutely not. I'll sacrifice like the gun rammer or the rapid loading or sixth sense or steady aim or any of the accuracy skills to put on other stuff because it may suit that tank better. So yeah. It's pretty much how I wanna say it's like 
I don't know what this video is about, but I'm trying to change the way... I'm not trying to change the... I'm trying to give people a better way to think about the game. Don't ask, is it worth it? Ask how... How does that tank play? And also with the skills. Don't just stick with the same amount of skills. Same skills every single tank. Try to be inventive and stuff like that if you can can and can afford it. It's just things that I like doing. And I wish more people would do, like try different positions on maps and stuff like that. Like, this is how you get better in the game. Trying different positions in the map, trying different play styles, different tanks, and different stuff. Because also the silver earners, there is no best silver earner in the game or XP earner. It all depends on you as a person if you like that tank or not. I mean, premium tanks are obviously going to make more silver than texture tanks. That's just a matter of fact because they have a silver boost. But there is no, like, yes, the Hydra has a 75% silver boost, but you can play a tank that has a 50% silver boost, like the Carnarvon Action 10, and make more silver than the Hydra ever could. Why? Because the person that likes the Carnarvon Action 10 and then actually is good in the Carnarvon 10, Action 10, could be terrible in the Hydra. And their go-to silver-making tank is... The Carnarvon Action 10. My go-to silver making tank is the Type 59 for a very long time. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> a weird one, kind of rambling, but if you liked it, consider subscribing because it helps the channel a ton. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.